everyone, we have been back in the UK since the beginning of February. Part of the reason for cutting our trip short was potentially having to pay for the quarantine hotel, which you see in the last video. But as you can tell by the title, we have bought a narrow boat. Which we're in right now! <gasps> This might sound a bit random, but we actually were discussing what the next sort of project would be whilst we're in Italy still, um, and we thought obviously international travel is going to be off the cards for probably quite a while, um, and what better way to travel England than by boat? We actually agreed to buy the boat whilst still in Italy without seeing it in person, which goes against pretty much any advice for buying a boat or anything for that matter, really. But <laughs> it's been in the water for about a month and it still floats, so I think we're alright. Good sign. It's been a bit crazy trying to organise everything, but as you can see, we've already made a start on the boat, so we're going to bring you up to speed on that, and after that, there'll be a weekly video. Good morning! It is a very exciting day. We're going to see our next project. Um, we've been back about a week now, and yeah slowly getting stuff out of mabel we should have drained her because now the pipes are frozen so minus three this morning that's gonna be a bit of an issue <laughs> um but yeah very excited about today <laughs> where our boat is going in the water we're just making a cup of tea and then we're gonna head down you've noticed that the crane is there already i think there's a couple of boats that are going in before ours but very exciting there's our boat Bit nerve wracking. Oh, it's in the water. I've <laughs> been really quickly as well. Yeah, have a look. we were waiting for um, Joe's dad to come, but it was literally in the water in like five minutes. I was oh, look, there it is. That. oh, there it is. Oh, hey, mate. Quite fast. spray foam which is going to save us a lot of time um, it's already got some vent holes so we'll probably try and stick to them as well but yeah it's a real empty canvas it's a bit of a wet day so I won't keep myself outside too long but back up here I've got the back deck engines underneath me got a one and a half litre BMC diesel engine so I can hold English used to be in taxis and stuff I think um, so that's been put in back deck's done for now anyway we've got a really big back deck haven't we in comparison walking past other narrow boats got a massive booty on her. yeah we can have a nice little doors, garden doors here we're going to replace with some nice wooden ones with some glazed units um got a little hatch here so you can walk in when we've got <laughs> steps <laughs> the back here Whoa. gonna be two cupboards yeah this is our vision so like, far Cover it like storage mainly for coats and shoes and stuff. Um, and then there's already a flute hole ready for the log burner, so we're going to keep that because that's literally working on the log burner anyway. And you're sort of limited as to where the windows are where you can put it. Then, sofa bed. Wait a minute. Then, sofa bed here. 
<laughs> the boat's just gone past, it's like a bit wobbling still. Um, then from there we're going to have our kitchen, aren't we? Yeah. This side? No, the other side. Something like this. We might have it split over two sides and then a walkway through. Okay. Then this bit is going to be the bathroom. Bathroom, we're not sure whether like a walkthrough bathroom or a, like a walkway and one on one side, that's still TBC. Then bedroom, bed's, bed's going to go along here with a walkway to that door and then some sort of cupboard at the end. And then this is going to be our little balcony from Front our bedroom. Deck. This has still got to be replaced. Um, the person we bought the boat off was going to do it shortly. Water tank's under there, which needs ripping out. We're going to replace with like a flexi plastic one, I think. Up front's a gas locker and some more storage, and then look sand terrace. And then look at our little mate. Oh, there's only one now. Don't know where the other's gone. Um, so where she's been out in the water for like four months, all the windows open to keep her like breathing or whatever. Got a bit of water in the back, and it's not a bilge pump fitted yet, so I've just got a manual one for twenty quid. Just going to pump this water up. It looks really bad when you've got water in a boat, but it's just what happens. <laughs> How does it, like, where does it go? That goes to the river. No, but like, where the does canal. the water... What, after there? Yeah. Will then get pumped out, it shouldn't really have water. It should run through to the back, but how this boat's designed, it just stays there, so you have to put two bilge pumps in. Windows are filthy, aren't they? Do they open? Yeah, go steady. Okay. I don't know how brittle. Oh, there's a little Hello. Hello. Yeah, just some bread. Joe is having a bit of trouble with the bar. Barge pump? pump? Bilge pump. Bilge pump. Joe's having a bit of trouble with the bilge pump. We are very amateur boaters. boaters. We, I, we neither of us even stepped on a narrow boat before we bought this one. Lots of um, terms and words that we have to learn about the boat. You might need your hand. Why? Be able to see. Oh, now we'll be able to see how if yeah, how much water comes in when it starts to rain. Now we are going to measure the door so then we can speak to some people if we can get one custom made. This book. What do you reckon? Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? A bit of glass in there. Maybe a stained glass window. <laughs> that Maybe. Would be nice. Morning, kids. What are you doing today? I'm eating Marmite cheese, but today we can't really do a lot until the guy that we bought it off does the front deck. So we're just gonna like clean it. I really wanna clean the windows, so we can see all the birds come past. And this was in the newspaper. I put it on the wall so we can see what birdies come past our window. Double-sided, but these are the water side ones. I love it. Yeah. 
Hey, get a oh, hair on it. Oh, good God. <laughs> still giving me sea legs. Oh, I still can't get used to looking over here. Anyway. You're looking over where? Over here. I'll look over here. Mm. I always look at me, but I'm over there. Anyway, so we're going to measure out. Oh, you stand more, Steve. Look at the floor we got at the minute. That's all the ballast. So, we're going to measure out roughly what area we've got for each room. Yeah. Just so we can visualise it more and to make sure, because you've got so many windows, so I don't really want a wall halfway on a window, so it's going to look shite. So, we're going to crack on that, I think. You look like you mean business for that one. Yeah. All the gear now we're doing. Yeah. Nice little one and a half litre diesel engine. What are you actually trying to do again? Um, so for it to pass this like, boat safety certificate, I need to strap the battery down. But I thought I was going to have to drill a couple of um, little plastic eyelets, but I think that's the outside. I don't think that is water, so I don't really want to drill a hole there. No, I wouldn't. There's a little loop there. I just wonder where I can put the other one. Nice work. So, big day on the boat today. The BSS inspector is coming over later on this afternoon. Um, BSS is basically a boat safety certificate, so that's the first thing you need to acquire before you can even insure or get a river licence. So that's happening today. Fingers crossed that go through. The boat's not starting at the minute, which doesn't help. Um, so the chap we bought the boat off is going to come and have a look at that in a minute, hopefully get that fixed. Um, so I'm just going to sit and drink tea. For now, not a lot I can do. So yesterday the BSS chap visited and the only thing that we really failed on was one of these. So I'm going to install that to the capacitor isolator switch. Um, basically it just means you can turn uh, any sort of current off from the battery to the rest of the boat. <laughs> Not pretty, but I think it'll do. Part of the reason for cutting our trip short. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that if you're going to be like oh, that. Let's try being happy. We're happy to be back. Are we? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We have been back in the UK since the beginning of February. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Having to pay for a quarantine hotel. <laughs> what? Good morning, everyone. We have been back in. Oh, I can't. Let's just do the floor now. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We have been in the UK since the beginning of February. Are you all right? No, oh, I'm just nervous. Back on camera. <laughs> <laughs> takes 10 times longer when do you're I, like this. Do I have to be in this scene? Yes, <laughs> no, you're being in the scene, just sit down. Right, right ready? <laughs> I don't know if I am. My glasses are steaming up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll try it, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by your smile, you're like biting your tongue. <laughs> Get all hot, 
Vai. <laughs> Joe, serious. Joe World! Good morning, everyone. We've been back since the beginning of February, as you can... <laughs> Good morning everyone, we have been back in the UK since the beginning of February, part of the reason, Joe. Good morning everyone! Oh, do you know what, let's just get on with the floor, I'm not doing this. Right, stop filming. Right, we'll do it after the floor for a bit No, time. no!